Hi, in this video we're going through how to get gold in the GTA 5 Parachute Jump 6 of 13, what goes up. Hi and welcome back, my name's Dan and I'm an old grumpy gamer. Grand Theft Auto is a truly massive game. Between GTA 5 and the constant updates from Rockstar for GTA Online, there's no shortage of new content and interesting things to do. Join me then in our continuing series, Getting Gold in Every Damn Mission in GTA 5, as we look at Dom's Grand Theft Auto Parachute Jump 6 of 13, what goes up. Before we dive in, if you're new to the channel, we do how-to guides, news, and giveaways, so consider subscribing and ringing the bell to stay up to date. 100%ing this one is pretty straightforward, with the critical factor being that you need to land dead center of the target. Even a few inches off will drop your percentage and your first time bonus. The good thing is though, you can retry this as many times as you like without affecting your score. So to start this one, we'll need to make our way to the construction site just south of Maze Bank. You'll see it marked on the map right here. So pull up to the construction site and you can see I'm approaching from the train station side here. Up on that block and jump the fence. You can come from the other side too. I mean, everyone knows the construction site. It's uh, It's been there a while. And what we want to do is use the mini map to find our way to the crane. I think it's in here somewhere by the look of it. There we go. Now we need to find the ladder for the crane. So we might have to sort of whip our way around it a few times. There it is. And now we need to just go up. All right, well, that was a heck of a climb. So as we make our way up, you can see there's a parachute, I think. Yep, there we go. Just behind there, we'll get the little prompt. And we'll mount up, and that is, that's a crook hole view. It's not quite the, the top of Maze Bank Tower, but geez, we're not far off. All right, so whenever you're ready, head to the end there, and make your way off the side. There we go. Do a quick dive and then straight onto the chute. So we need to do a little bit of navigating around buildings to make sure that we don't clobber anything. And the extra time with the chute is very, very handy. Okay, so we can see the flatbed just down there. Might need to make sure we don't overshoot it. So we'll put the brakes on, so to speak. Take the opportunity to line ourselves up. Hope they don't get a stoplight and I think we should be good to go. Yeah, no, wait there, buddy. All right, I think we've got this one more or less in the bag, so we just need to keep an eye on it. And there we go, very happy with that. All right, 200 for the effort and 100%, so couldn't ask for better. That is fantastic. So what are your thoughts? Do you have any tips for other viewers or could this have been done differently? Leave your comment down below and check out the video on the left for the next jump or the one on the right for some more old grumpy gamer goodness. Stay safe, wash your hands, and we'll see you in the next video.